dear students in the chapter of design of riveted joints this lecture is on the topic shearing of rivets and shearing efficiency i dr balraj singh brad from yadavindra college of engineering talwandi sabo india i am presenting the lecture let us take a single riveted lap joint one plate of thickness t is there and another plate of thickness t is overlapping it we have a single row of rivets a 3d model is shown let it is subjected to a load which is ps for shearing of rivets this ps is usually denoted per unit pitch what we observe is when we apply the load on the two plates say ps ps is usually denoted in while calcul calculating the values of resistance offered per unit pitch when we apply the load upper plate got shifted from the riveting position to this position and the rivets along the pitch line got sheared at the this cross section at these cross sections we have been given that pitch is p rivet hole diameter is d and the plate thick plates thickness is t now for calculating the resistance offered to shearing we are interested in knowing how many rivets got sheared per unit pitch what we observe is for this pitch half of the rivet here and half of the rivet here got sheared and they got sheared at a single plane so this is known as single shear and half and half constitutes one rivet so what we do is we take number of rivets which got sheared per unit pitch is half plus half is equal to 1 we will make use of this calculation in the coming slides now same figure is shown rivets got sheared in single shear we are interested in finding out the shearing resistance offered by the riveted joint to the failure of rivets in shear this sing type of single shear is observed in case of lap joints or butt joints with one strap only now shear stress in the rivets is if total load is ps which is per unit pitch and here we put area of the rivets being sheared is pi by 4d square z is the number of rivets per unit pitch then load which is being taken by the riveted joint in the shearing is ps and the shear stress is this load divided by area of a single rivet into number of rivets per unit pitch so this is the shear stress this should be less than the towel eye when we open it up shearing resistance per unit pitch ps becomes pi by 4 d square area of cross section of a single rivet into z number of rivets which got sheared per unit pitch mm -hmm. into the allowable shear stress now once the shearing resistance of the rivets is known we can find out the shearing efficiency for the case of single shear of rivets which and shearing efficiency eta s is defined as shearing resistance of rivets to the tearing resistance of the solid plate 
shearing resistance relation we have already calculated in the previous slide it is pi by 4 d square area of a single rivet under shear into z number of rivets into tau liable shear strength to sigma t p t which is the tearing resistance of solid plate we already calculated for tearing efficiency in the previous lecture and the relation is same so for per unit pitch the area of the plate getting teared is pt and sigma t is the liable tensile strength so this relation gives us the shearing efficiency for single shear problems in the cases of lap joints or butt joints with a single butt strength now moving on to the concept of shearing of rivets in double shear this is observed in butt joints with two butt straps so we have taken a case of a single riveted butt joint we have two plates being joined by two butt straps one and two there is a one row of rivets on each side so it is a single riveted butt joint with two butt straps subjected to a load tensile load along the plates which is ps and ps as told is usually represented as the resistance offered per unit pitch now same single riveted butt joint top and front view we have shown these views show pitch is p dia of rivet hole is d rivet head dia is more than the rivet hole and thickness of the plates is t it is shown here the the two plates are separate because of the same color the separation is not getting reflected but in the top view it is clear now, concept of shearing of rivets in double shear we took the riveted joint single riveted butt joint with the two butt straps applied as force shearing force which is causing the rivets to shear we observed that say the left plate got moved to this position because of the shearing of the rivets on this side so what we observe is the rivets the rivets which were there in this plate they got sheared from two cross sections at the two cross sections top cross section and the bottom cross section so for this we take care of a factor k which is theoretically equal to 2 2 simply means each rivet is under double shear and z number of rivets under shear per unit pitch are same as was discussed in the single riveted lap joint z is 1 so we have observed it now for the double shear this is a 3d plot left plate under a load move to this position and these rivets got sheared from top cross section as well as from the bottom cross section we have reduced the transparency of the plates to show how the rivets got sheared and we so this is taken care of by k k is used theoretically two for double shear but in actual practice it is taken as 1.75 to 1.875 according to indian boiler regulations it is 1.875 which is taken care of now what we have observed is per unit pitch half rivet here 
and half rivet here are getting sheared. So total number of rivets which are getting sheared for this problem is Z is 1. For double riveted, triple riveted, they may increase. So now, what we do? We have to find out shear stress in the rivets. It is the shearing resistance offered per unit pitch divided by area of cross section of a single rivet. K, which may be having value of 2 or 1.875 to take care of double shear z number of rivets per unit pitch when we divide this we get the shear stress now this shear stress should be less than or at the most equal to tau r when we open it this up shearing resistance which is denoted per unit pitch ps is pi by 4 d square into tau liable into k into z so this relation is helpful in the design of riveted joints and making the joint safe to the failure of rivets in the shearing. Once the shearing resistance is known, now we will calculate shearing efficiency for double shear in the case of butt joints, butt, butt riveted joints with two butt steps. Now, according to definition of shearing efficiency tests is shearing resistance of rivets to tearing resistance of solid blade, shearing resistance of blade of the rivets we have calculated. Tearing resistance of the solid blade is same as in the case of tearing efficiency or shearing efficiency for a single shear. It is simply PT is the cross-section of the solid plate which is under tearing per unit pitch multiplied by the tensile strength. And enumerator terms are same as we have discussed. Now we will make use of this relation in the coming slides. Let us solve a problem. A triple riveted lap joint is made between 8 mm plates. So figure shows a triple riveted lap joint with three gauge lines, two plates overlapping each other. Plate thick plates thickness is 8 mm each with a pitch of 60 mm. So it is given that the pitch along the gauge line P is 60 mm and the rivet hole dia is 15.5 mm so this is a rivet hole dia so d is 15.5 mm it is a zigzag riveting as is clear in the picture figure with the back pitch of 30 mm so back pitch is the distance between the two gauge lines so this distance is back pitch. Reliable stresses in tension and shear are 35 megapascal tensile strength. 30 is the reliable shear strength. Calculate the shearing efficiency of the joint. Given T is 8 mm. D is 15.5. P is 60. Sigma T is 35 tau is 30. All the rivets are in, in the single shear. So no need of taking care of factor K. Now per unit pitch we are observing that half rivet here, half here along this gauge line one rivets. One rivet in the second gauge line total two rivets and half here and half here one rivet in the third gauge line means total three rivets per unit pitch are getting sheared so z is three now we have already 
derive the relation for it as pi by 4 d square into z number of rivets into tau by sigma t p t in we have been given the values we put the value of d 15.5 z 3 tau 30 sigma t 35 pitch 60 and thickness of plates 8 and calculate that the sharing efficiency comes out to be 101.85 percent so for this the given triple riveted lap joint has a sharing efficiency of more than 101 percent and is 101.85 percent kindly note that this is not the joint efficiency because tearing or crushing efficiencies for this type of triple riveted lap joint may have lower values resulting in a lower joint efficiency so with this the lecture on the concept of shearing of rivets and shearing efficiency is complete thanks my dear students